Okay, so get this. September is looking like it's going to be huge GE for Telegram crypto games. Yeah. We're talking airdrops, new listings. Yeah, yeah. It's the kind of buzz that makes you want to like grab your phone and just dive in, you know? It is. It is. It's exciting. Yeah. But it can also be kind of overwhelming keeping up with it all. Oh, absolutely. And that is exactly why we are tackling it head on in this deep dive. I love it. So you actually sent us a bunch of articles, a bunch of links, you know, about this very thing. Right. So we dug through it all, everything from like WorldCoin Index, right. KuCoin, yeah. even some interesting YouTube analyses to kind of distill it down. Absolutely. So we can give people the need to know info. Yeah. Separate the gems from the, uh, well, not so gems. Exactly. Exactly. And speaking of gems, the one game has everyone talking this month, Hamster Combat. It's true. WorldCoin Index reports they've already got a massive player base. Huge. Over 250 million, which yeah. is just, it's mind-blowing. It's true. And that's one of the things that's so fascinating about this whole Telegram gaming scene, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's attracting these huge EE communities. Yeah, yeah. And Hamster Combat is a prime example. Yeah. And they're even set to be listed on Binance soon, which could be, you know, that could be a big deal. Yeah. For their token, HMSTR. Okay, so we've got massive user base, Binance listing, that's got to have people wondering about airdrop opportunities. Sure. You know, those moments where you might be able to grab some tokens early on. Right, right. And September is looking like the month for hamster combat airdrops. What's really interesting is they've allocated 3 billion HMSTR tokens specifically for Binance launch pool rewards. Hold on. For those of us who haven't been glued to the Binance app, what does that actually mean? So Binance launch pool is basically a way to earn rewards um, just by staking your existing crypto. Okay. So in this case, you could stake your BNB or FDUSD, those are other cryptocurrencies, mm -hmm. and earn HMSDR tokens before they even officially list on Binance. Wow. Which is September 26th. So it's like getting a head start. Exactly. And that kind of opportunity is what's fueling a lot of the excitement around Telegram crypto games right now. Okay, but before we get too far down the hamster combat hole, right. let's talk about another game that's got everyone talking this month. Cattison. Yes. And yes, it is exactly what it sounds like. A cat-themed game. Now, now, don't let the cuteness fool you. Yeah. Cattison is already making waves. Yeah. Did you know that they are the 59th project to be listed on Binance Launchpool? Wow. That tells you something. It's like being the 59th person to join an exclusive club, right? All right. Clearly, Binance sees something special here. They're not alone. Cattison is set to launch on September 20th with trading pairs against... USDT, BNB, FDUSD, and even 2Try. Okay. That's a lot of options right out of the gate. Yeah. Which suggests that they're really aiming for, like, broad accessibility, adoption. Smart move. But, as we know, a flashy launch doesn't always equal long-term success. Right. So how do we, the savvy deep divers, start to separate the hype from the potential when it comes to Cadison and other games like it? That's the million-dollar question. Yeah. And, luckily... We've got a whole breakdown coming up for you right after the break. Don't go anywhere. This is where it gets really interesting. And we're back. You know, digging into these Telegram games, it's got me thinking. Yeah. This is about way more than just, like, cute hamsters and cats. You're absolutely right. This speaks to a larger trend of blockchain gaming, mm -hmm. finding a home. Right, on Telegram. Yeah. And it's really, uh, you know, it's about community accessibility mm -hmm. and these uh, interesting tokenomics models that we're seeing. Okay, before we get ahead of ourselves, sure. you mentioned tokenomics. Let's break down what that actually means, especially for someone who's new to the crypto space. Yeah, you got it. Tokenomics. Mm -hmm. So think of tokenomics as like the DNA of a crypto project, right? Mm -hmm. It tells you everything about how that token works, how many exist, how they're distributed, how they can be used within the game's ecosystem. Okay, so using Cadison as an example, what can their tokenomics tell us? Yeah, so Narometrics actually published a deep dive on this. Okay. And it turns out Cadison has a total supply of 1 billion fiat -E tokens. Now, what's interesting here is that 20% of that supply, that's a whopping 200 million CETA, is dedicated to community rewards. Okay, now you're talking my language. Community rewards. So what kind of rewards are we talking about here? So according to their white paper, okay. these rewards are distributed through various in-game activities, tournaments, even content creation. Essentially, the more you engage with the Cadiz ecosystem, the more opportunities you have to earn CED tokens. 
that's a cool model. It's like they're incentivizing people to be active participants, not just, you know, passive players. Exactly. And that's a really crucial point when you're evaluating these projects. Yeah. You know, beyond the hype, beyond the cute characters, you want to look for games that offer genuine utility and engagement. Okay, so we've got Cadison with its, you know, catastic community rewards. Right. We've got Hamster Combat gearing up for a Binance listing. Sure. What else is on the September roster? Well, if you're intrigued by the idea of, like, building your own empire, you might want to keep an eye on X Empire. Yeah. It's a strategy-based game where you build armies, you forge alliances, you conquer rivals, all within the Telegram ecosystem. Okay, Empire Building on Telegram. That's a new one. But I have to admit, I haven't heard as much buzz about this one. What's the deal with X Empire's token? XAMP, is that right? That's the thing with these emerging projects, right? Sometimes information is a little scarce. Yeah. Right now, we don't have specifics on X Empire's total supplier allocation. Okay. Even their launch date is a little bit of a mystery. So a bit of a riskier play then. Potentially, yes. Yeah. But also potentially a higher reward. KuCoin actually highlighted them as a project to watch. Interesting. They emphasize the team's experience in both gaming and blockchain development. So, you know, they've got a track record of success, which is always a good sign. So less concrete information, but potentially a team with a really solid background. It sounds like it all comes down to how much risk you're comfortable with. Exactly. And that's where, you know, doing your own research is key. Yeah. Dive into their Telegram group, see what the community is saying, and decide if it's the right fit for you. Solid advice. Now, I, I know we've still got to talk about spotting those red flags and really evaluating these games for the long haul. But before we do that, right. there's one more project on our list that's uh, making waves, though it's not exactly a game. It's Goats. <laughs> and yes, the name alone just makes me chuckle. Yeah, Jotis, uh, it's a unique case. It's a meme coin uh, built on the Solana blockchain. Okay. And it seems like their whole strategy is leveraging Telegram's viral potential to gain traction. Okay, I have to admit, I'm a little curious about this one. But can a meme coin really gain that kind of traction solely through Telegram? Well, so a YouTube channel we follow, Crypto Coffee Break, they did this really interesting analysis on this. Oh. And they pointed out that while Goats is leveraging Telegram brilliantly for initial community building, they're also planning to launch on other platforms, and they're even developing some NFT integrations. So they're not putting all their eggs in the Telegram basket, which is probably smart. Right. But we've got to talk about meme coins for a sec, right? Yeah. They can be incredibly volatile. Absolutely. One minute they're soaring, the next minute, well, you know. Yeah. BitTime had this really great article on this, reminding investors that meme coins often lack, like, the real-world utility and long-term vision of more established projects. Okay, so while a Telegram-fueled meme coin frenzy might be uh, fun to watch, it's probably not the wisest investment strategy. Yeah. But hey, maybe that's just the goat herder in me talking. Perhaps. Perhaps. But jokes aside, it's crucial to approach any investment, especially in the crypto space, with a healthy dose of caution and research. Words to live by. Now, we've covered a lot of ground here, but we've only scratched the surface of what makes these Telegram games tick. After the break, we're going deep on those tokenomics, exploring what they can tell us about a project's potential and what red flags to watch out for. All right, we're back. And, you know, honestly, this whole deep dive, yeah. it's really got me thinking about Telegram differently. Yeah. It's not just for messaging anymore. Right. It's like this um, breeding ground for innovation. It's true. Especially when it comes to these crypto games. Absolutely. And what's fascinating is that a lot of that innovation really hinges on tokenomics. Okay. We touched on it earlier. Yeah. But it's so crucial. I think it deserves its own little uh, spotlight in our deep dive. Okay, tokenomic spotlight it is. But let's break it down one more time. Sure. For those of us who are still like wrapping our heads around it. You got it. So think of tokenomics as the system okay. that determines how a cryptocurrency is created, managed, and used okay. within a specific project. Got it. So it dictates things like the total supply of tokens, how they're distributed, and any mechanisms for like burning or reducing the supply over time. So it's like the rule book for the token. Exactly. Yeah. And just like you would scrutinize the rules of a game before playing, right? Yeah. Understanding a project's tokenomics can give you some really valuable insights into its potential for growth or uh, lack thereof. So knowing that, what are some key things that we should be looking for in a project's tokenomics to kind of determine if it's like 
worth our attention? Yeah, great question. One thing I always look at is the token allocation. Okay. How much of the total supply is allocated to the team? How much is going to early investors? And crucially, how much is reserved for things like community rewards or future development? So a red flag would be a huge chunk of tokens going straight to the team or, you know, early investor. Exactly. That can be a signal of like a lack of commitment to the long term health of the project. Okay. On the other hand, you know, a project with a significant portion allocated to community rewards or ongoing development. Yeah. That suggests to me that they're playing the long game. That makes sense. It's like, are they building a sustainable ecosystem yeah. or just trying to like cash in quickly? Precisely. Another thing to watch out for is the token distribution model. Okay. Is it designed to encourage holding or does it incentivize constant selling, which can lead to price volatility? Okay. So we're talking about tokenomics as a way to kind of assess a project's long-term potential. Right. But beyond that, what are some red flags, those warning signs that might make us like hit the brakes before investing in a Telegram crypto game? Yeah. You know, one thing that immediately sends up red flags for me is a lack of transparency. Okay. If a project is hesitant to share its white paper, its team information, or details about its tokenomics, that's a major concern. Transparency is key. It's like if they're not willing to be upfront about the project, what are they hiding? Right. Exactly. Another red flag is an over-reliance on hyper-unrealistic promises. Be wary of projects that focus solely on, like, get-rich-quick schemes right. or boast guaranteed returns. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Do your research, scrutinize those tokenomics, and don't let the hype cloud your judgment. Solid advice. But, you know, I think beyond all that, the most crucial takeaway from this deep dive is that this whole world of Telegram crypto games, it's still in its early stages. Absolutely. We're just scratching the surface of what's possible. Yeah. And who knows? The next big thing in blockchain gaming, the next innovative use of tokenomics, might be brewing right now on a Telegram channel near you. That's what makes it so exciting. So keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, have fun out there in the wild world of Telegram crypto games. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive.